Hello everyone, this is a crucial Python week 10. Today we are going to introduce some useful tricks in debugging in Python, and especially the PDB module in Python, which is a Python debugger, and uh, it, it is its usage in IPython and IPython notebook. Okay, here we go. So firstly, our logo, yeah. And... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, firstly, uh, let's review some quick comments, which is pretty uh, useful. Also, although I think many of the many of you might already know this, but uh, still, it's good thing to always good thing to review. Okay, here we have a very simple piece of code. C clearly, we can see there is a bug in that. So z equals to x plus y, where x is an integer and y is a char. So that that cannot be cannot be directly added. So after I run this, it will give us an arrow. Okay. The first uh, command I'm going to do is whose, which is uh, quite obvious. If when you want to display the value and the type of the local variable, you just type whose, and then it will give you what you want. And if you want a full version of that uh, local variable, you just use this command, locals. So it will give you all the all the local variable you have right now, see, which you is really a lot. So it's sometimes very not obvious to find what you want, but still, yeah. So when you use some other tools, then the iPad on notebook to debug or you or write code. And uh, you, you want somehow to connect into the kernel in IPython notebook. You want you just use this magic called connect info. So after type, after run it, it will give you the number and the port uh, and the signature of the kernel you are using right now. So by follow the construction instruction, I'm sorry, follow the instruction. Uh, here we can connect the kernel you are currently use. In IPython notebook to any other uh, Python platform or other application. Yeah. But still, if if using command line tool can uh, satisfy you the most, you can still also use this command Qt console, it which will <coughs> which will open a new Qt console for you and. Uh, and enable you to debug in that. Also, since it is uh, automatically, it will since you have an error previously, so it will automatically open the IDB process, PDB process. So here we can see if we type debug here, it will directly go to your your previous debug, and uh, it start an IPDB process here. So yeah, which I will introduce later. So by use a Q, which means quit, you can quit that. Even you can keep doing your things in this console. Let's go back. And also, if you are satisfied in debugging an notebook, you can still do that. You can still do that in the iPython notebook here. You can use this magic. Still, it is the same. It will goes to the bug you have, or error you have, previously, and uh, start this process. Okay. Okay, so those above us about uh, they display the variables or anything, something else. So what about breakpoints? So in the breakpoints, we will use the Python module called PDB. So it is a standard Python debugging module. And after version 1.0 in IPython notebook, it is also support PDB as showed here. So with this tool, you can just you can just debug your code, code, and then as any other debuggers in other languages like C, uh, Java, MATLAB, something. So here are some very quick common common comments in the uh, in the PDB module. So when you want to set the breakpoint, you just use this command set trace then. 
and H for help and for next L for list. I will I will do a small a little demo in the debugging process later here. So again, since assume we have a small piece of code. Yeah. And then this one. Okay, since I set a a brick pointer brick point here, you see. So it will when the program runs to here, it will directly start the IPDB thing and it goes to the debugging process. You can find the, which will show in the terminal you have. See here is a this arrow shows the program you run to this step. If I press the number next, which is N, here you can go to the next one. C to the yeah C is the continue they will go to the next pointer you have which is here and then since it's the full loop it goes to the first land so still you can see I said I said see here print X we can find the print here so it shows every time I press C it goes one iteration so if I use L which is a list which shows the more lines you have and the helps you to identify where the code is right now. And uh, still we keep pressing this, this thing. And use S, it step in, it will go into the function which is called in your process. And this R is goes return. Still, and also, what else? Okay, yeah, help. Yeah, when you press, when you don't know about, when you are not quite clear about the command you're using right now, just type in help, and it will give you basically all the information you need to know about this module. And after you identify, finish, finish your debugging thing, if I press Q, still, we have to quit. Which is quite straightforward. And uh, when you want to debug a other some other uh, script which is not in this codebook, you can directly run this. Use this run magic, so and uh, slash d, which means debugging. And this sample this is another file, Python file, which has the same content as the thing as the ones we just show. See, we just run this. And, oops, sorry. Yeah. Okay, we just run it. It will still. See, we can see here. It is the same thing, but uh, it is a uh, script story in some other, not in this iPad notebook. Okay. And uh, another trick is you can turn on the PDB, automatically PDB uh, module. So as show here, use this magic, then run it. Okay, it says automatic PDB calling has been turned on, which means whenever you have, whenever the kernel encounters a bug, it will automatically start a PDB process and let you to debug it and uh, identify the bug. For example, here, we have the same, uh, the, the very same piece of code x equals to 1, y equals to c, the, here clearly it has bug because it cannot it cannot sum between the integer and the string. So still, let's run it. But since I already, I already turned on this, this PDB, this automatic PDB calling thing, so when we encounter a bug, it will directly, here you can see, directly start a PDB process. Here, see, here is the bug. Here is the bug we have. So, it it is easier for you to find the bug and uh, correct the bug. Okay, still, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. This is that's all I have right now. Uh, for for the day. Thank you.